Iceland's violent eruption, the land of fire awakens again. Before dawn broke over the cold and silent landscape of Iceland's Rake Janes Peninsula, the earth was already trembling with warning. At exactly 3.56 a.m., a deep guttural rumble echoed beneath the hardened lava fields, a sound so primal it woke sleeping birds and sent animals. Running through the sparse, mossy plains, within minutes, the seismic swarm intensified. Hundreds of earthquakes shook the land with an almost living rage, each tremor stronger than the last. Rattling windows in coastal villages and vibrating through the bones of terrified residents. Suddenly, with a deafening crack, a massive fissure ripped open across the landscape. The black volcanic rock split apart like torn fabric, and from within the glowing wound, molten rock burst forth with unstoppable force. Lava fountains shot 50 to 80 meters into the frigid dawn sky, illuminating the darkness with an ominous orange glow. The air filled with the heavy scent of burning sulphur and ash. A terrifying wall of glowing, searing liquid poured out, racing across old lava plains in relentless, boiling waves. The Icelandic Meteorological Office confirmed that a fracture had erupted, spewing incandescent lava and creating a curtain of fire stretching across the horizon. Massive clouds of volcanic gas and steam billowed upward, forming dark, towering plumes that drifted with the fierce northern winds. Lightning crackled within the ash cloud as volcanic particles collided, creating a fearsome spectacle of nature's raw electrical fury. Dot in the quiet fishing town of Grindavik. Sirens screamed through the streets, echoing off empty houses as emergency alerts blared on every phone. More than 3,800 residents, along with hundreds of tourists staying in the famed Blue Lagoon geothermal spa region, scrambled to evacuate. The roads became clogged with headlights as vehicles moved in convoys, the red taillights casting an eerie glow against the darkened sky. Some residents cried while others stood frozen on their porches staring at the distant wall of fire rising from the earth. Witnesses described the eruption as walking through hell itself. They spoke of the ground trembling beneath their feet with violent pulses, of feeling the vibrations deep within their chests as if the heartbeat of the planet was pounding through their bodies The sky turned into a haunting palette of black, grey and fiery orange. The sun struggling to pierce through the ash-laden clouds that drifted towards the capital. As dawn finally arrived, it revealed a scar of molten rock snaking its way southeastward, swallowing everything in its path. The relentless lava flow hissed and cracked as it consumed old roads, 
melted electrical poles, and burned away fragile moss plains that had taken decades to grow. The heat emanating from the flow was so intense that rescue teams had to stay hundreds of meters away, their protective gear steaming in the bitter morning air. Volcanologists warn that this eruption is part of the new Rayak James fires, a series of volcanic awakenings that began in 2021 after eight centuries of dormancy. Some fear this could mark the beginning of decades of volcanic instability. Echoing the 13th century Ray Jane's fires that burned continuously for over 30 years and reshaped the entire region. The famous Blue Lagoon has been closed indefinitely. Its milky geothermal pools, usually a symbol of peace and luxury now lie silent under a sky darkened with ash, their waters rippling from the tremors. Nearby hotels stand empty, abandoned in haste. Cracks split across the main access roads while workers desperately build new barriers to divert lava away from critical geothermal power plants. Airlines continue to monitor the situation closely as ash clouds drift towards major air routes, threatening to disrupt flights across Europe and North America. Reminiscent of the 2010 Aj Fajolaj Gol, eruption that grounded thousands of flights worldwide. Dots standing at the edge of the exclusion zone. Geologists watch in awe and fear. The lava continues to spew, the fissure widening with every passing hour, reshaping Iceland's landscape in real time. Some scientists describe it as watching the Earth being born again, while others warn that the peninsula could remain active for hundreds of years to come. In the distance, under the flickering glow of lava fountains, Icelanders whisper their ancient phrase, Elder under Isnam, fire beneath the ice. And today, that fire is awake, roaring violently into the sky, reminding the world that Iceland is truly the land where Earth's deepest forces rise to meet the heavens in unstoppable fury.